Hey guys, Jason here from Electric Bike Technologies, and now I'm going to show you a, new, a unique situation. Um, if you have two Liberty trikes, if you're an owner of two Liberty trikes, and something goes wrong with either one of them, it's important to remember that you actually have a second set of parts which you can use to help uh, eliminate and find out by a process of elimination if there's actually a problem with one of the components. So, the easiest way to do this, all right, I'll start with the most obvious. You've got a couple of components on your Liberty trike. Starting from the back, you've got the battery. Next to the battery, you've got a battery wire harness that runs down under here. You already know this comes apart, so the next component would be the controller, which is the black box here. And then from the controller, you have two wires going out. One of them goes over to the motor on this side back here, and the other one over here on the left goes up to your components in the front. Your components in the front, we call this a three to one, by the way. You have a wire here, right? So we've got battery, battery wire harness, controller, three to one, okay? The three to one unplugs from the controller here with this plug, you pull it right out. And then it's got three connectors right here. And again, you pull, you don't twist each one of these. Now, one of these connectors goes up to your uh, LCD in the middle, right? Your display panel. One of them goes up to your electronic cut off brake, your brake handle, and then the other one, the last one, goes over here on the right of the handlebar to your throttle. So each one of these. So again, we've got two Liberty trikes, so you essentially have two sets of part, parts. So the thing is, you're going to borrow the parts from the bike that is working, and you're going to use those to flush out and through a process of elimination find the culprit or the problem part or disconnection that you have in a bike that may not uh, be operable or giving you problems. Um, the battery, I think, is the most obvious. You can clearly just take a battery out, swap it over. The battery wire harness here in the back, if you need that, you would actually have to cut these two zip ties and bring it from one bike to the other. Obvious, right? You're swapping the battery or you're swapping that cable. Now, the controller is on the bike and it's it's here, it's, it's screwed into the controller and it's got the clamps on there and you would need a hex uh, key type wrench to get it off if you wanted to physically take it off. But I don't think you have to do that. As long as you put the bikes up next to one another, you can actually do some testing. So, uh, both of these bikes are on. And so what I'm gonna test, I'm gonna go right to this three to one cable and then the components up top, okay? Because that uh, is most likely where a culprit could be. And this is gonna be the, the part where we really wanna make this video to explain. So let's just say, for example, that this is not working. For some reason, the blue bike here is not working. Now, what I'd like to do is, let's say I wanna test the controller first. Well, I have these together. The bike's not working. Well, let me clarify that. Well, let me verify that the battery the battery wire harness and the controller are working. All I have to do in this situation is borrow the, the, the controller here from the, from the blue bike, and I wanna test if everything's working from the controller back to the battery. So I would unplug the three to one there, and then I would also, I could unplug the uh, motor if I wanted to. So I'll do it over here as well, and I'll unplug that three to one, right? So both of these are unplugged. Now I can plug either one in. Now let's just say, for example, your LCD hadn't been coming on or something else, and I think there's a problem with the LCD or the throttle or whatever it was giving you a problem. I can bring this over and now I can plug in the one I know is working over here. And I line up those arrows very carefully, fully insert that. And now the bike that's controlling it and the components that are controlling it are over here. So I can press the button, see if it comes on. And it did. And then I can, pick the wheel off the ground, right, which is very interesting. Um, I can pick the wheel off the ground, but in this case, I actually have to transfer the wheel as well. So I'll unplug this one. So now I'm really testing the controller, the battery, and everything from here back on the blue bike, right? The blue bike wasn't working. I want to test everything from there back. I'm using the red bike and I'm borrowing the red bike's front end components. And if I pick this up off the ground, the red wheel spins. So in that case, the red bike, the bike that's working, has just verified for me that the controller, the battery wire harness, and the battery on the blue bike are not the culprit. So I can unplug those again. And now if I want to test everything else in the front of the blue bike, if I want to test 
the LCD and the components. Okay, so now we verified using the red bike, using the components on the front end, basically the whole handlebar, we have verified that the controller on the blue bike, battery wire harness and the battery in the back are all good. Now we want to test the front, right, which are the components up top, which is the um, brake handle, the display in the middle, and then the throttle, right? They're all connected to what's called the three to one. Now the simple test to see if this is going to work with a set of components that we know is going to work is just to take we're borrowing the controller in the back end here. So we line these up, we find our arrows so we don't bend any pins, we push it in all the way. Uh, we will then use the motor on the red bike as well, but we're gonna power the motor on the red bike uh, and we're gonna power the red bike from this set of components over here to verify. So I'm gonna hit the I button here. We've got everything going, and what we're doing is we're just borrowing these components to power uh, this, this bike. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to pick this bike off the ground because it'll go if it's working, and there you go. And now I've tested, so now I know the components in the front are working. Now, if, they, if that didn't work for some reason, my next logical step would be to piece by piece check each one of the components. Now. We've, again, we verified this. We don't have to worry about anything else. Now we're working up here. If one of these three didn't work, we'd be doing with this with a three to one. The three to one, I can disconnect. Pull, 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 right? And so maybe there's a short in here. We don't know. But through process of elimination now, we know that the red one works. We can borrow it. And in fact, in this case, we can just put it down and we can pull these three off, right? And we can plug it in over here. And you can do this with any component as long as you can get them physically next to each other, right? Because you have a second Liberty trike. So I will line this up, borrow the three to one from the red bike, which is my working bike. You can only do this one way. So there's only one mate per, and they are also different colors. So the LCD and the throttle are both green, but the LCD and the throttle also is male and female. You, can't, you cannot get this wrong, you just can't. And then the red, is for stop and that's the brake. So I've borrowed the three to one, right? That component working away from the back to the front is the next logical component which may have caused a problem here. And then what I do is I just try it. And when I turn it on, if I see that I got the screen, I know that's good. And if I pick that off the ground and I go and I cut off with the brake, I know it's good. So if, I, if it wasn't working and I borrowed the three to one from the working bike, moved it over to here, then I may want to replace my three to one and that may be the culprit, right? Next would be the three components, each one of these. And again, you have the red and the two greens. One of them is the brake, that's the red. And then one of the greens is going to be the LCD and one of the greens is gonna be the throttle. But again, even from here, you could test each one of these components by taking a good working three to one from the other bike that you have and simply going down to that controller uh, using the good three to one or um, using each one of these components to a good three to one either way. Same thing with the motor, just to, to make this easy here. Same thing with the motor, you could borrow. You could just swap between these two. Be very careful and cognizant of the wheel that's going to spin when you do something like this, obviously. You just wanna think about what you're doing and make sure that the wheel that's gonna spin, you wanna lift that off the ground momentarily when you're doing your testing. But either way, you can see you can work your way around. You have all your components, you have a good set. Theoretically, if you wanted to test the whole handlebar, you could just take it off with the quick release, bring the whole handlebar over and connect that. But as you can see from this video, if you have two Liberty trikes, that's really the point. You already have a set of working parts to work through a process of elimination very carefully and go through each one of those parts. And just to wrap up, I'm going to go through it one more time here again, just so we're clear on every bit of this process from front to back of what those parts are and, and what you are testing for. And I'm, I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, you're gonna call our service department, but we're making this video to really kind of give you a visual and explain how you can use one set of parts and one trike if you happen to own two of the Liberty trikes and, and go through this testing. So as a real quick overview, I'll just run through those parts again in the system. And from front to back, this is always what you're gonna check if something is malfunctioning or anything is giving you trouble. You have the battery in the back. You can swap your battery packs. You have your 
battery wire harness is what this is called. It runs down here and it separates here. You have your controller, which has a cable back to your battery, wire harness, and then it's got two cables up front. One goes to the motor and one goes to the three to one. This piece of cable right here that connects to your controller, this is your three to one. We call it a three to one because it's one dongle to what's called three dongles. And then those three dongles are up to the front, your command center, and that's your brake with your cutoff. That's your LCD in the middle, and that's your throttle over here. And of course, you have your, your engine or your motor up front, and that's the connector here on the fork. You always want to make sure that's good. Again, if you have two, that you can very easily roll up to each other and test your motors as well. So that's how you do that diagnosis. By the way, this is the same thing if you were talking to service and we were going to send you something called a rescue pack. In the rescue pack would be a set of components. It would basically be everything from the battery, this cable, the controller, the three to one, and each one of these components would be in a rescue pack for the same exact process of elimination type diagnosis of a Liberty Trike. And I hope that makes sense to you and I hope it's helpful. Thanks.